Welcome to Metro Exodus. This is the third entry in the Metro series. The first one was Metro 2033, released in 2010, and then Metro Last Light in 2013, and now in 2019, Metro Exodus. The reason this one took so long to make is probably because they decided to go bigger, way, way bigger. This time, it's open world, or at least, like, mostly open world, I think. I think it's separated into distinct, very large open world environments that you travel to on a train, taking stops at each of these kind of big set pieces that are open. The first two metros were really linear, so this is a pretty huge change. It feels almost like a modern AAA cliche at this point to have a game go open world, but I feel like it's really, really going to work for the Metro universe. I love the first two games so much, so I'm so excited to play this. Oh, I also want to mention that this was kindly gifted to me by Lindsay, so thank you very much, Lindsay. Let's begin a new game. Oh, just a quick mention of this uh, main menu, by the way. Just like the previous Metro games, it has that wonderful, gorgeously detailed uh, menu that's fully 3D, like it's a little, a little set piece with all sorts of buttons and stuff that you press when you go to use the menu. Let's slam the red button and start a new game. I've played for just a couple minutes so far, very, very briefly, just to check the audio settings and all that sort of stuff. Right, there's Reader, Easy, Normal, Hardcore, and Ranger Hardcore. I'm gonna go with Hardcore. Ranger Hardcore is interesting, but I think it might be too extreme for a first playthrough. It, um... It doesn't just make encounters with enemies harder and ammo more scarce and stuff like that, but it also removes some of the HUD hints and, and tips and stuff that you kind of get, so it's a bit harder to navigate and things like that. Hardcore leaves all that stuff in, but makes things generally more difficult. Recommended for experienced FPS players. Every encounter presents a serious challenge to your skill and tactics. Ammo and resources must be jealously guarded. Success cannot be guaranteed. I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it, 
Our number is dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal. go i'm so excited so i think we just escaped down here because we're running out of uh our filters right we got like 30 seconds on our watch down there 20 seconds now i should probably move forwards i think it's safer over here yeah the air is not as hazardous so this doesn't eat up our filters good old lighter which moves around as you go from side to side That's what I love so much about the Metro series, is how much attention to detail they put into making everything feel like desperate and cobbled together. Like if you have to use your lighter for light, you're pretty desperate at that point. That means your flashlight probably ran out of light and you need to charge it, but you can't charge it because maybe you're being chased by enemies or something. I'm assuming we still have that little push charge box for our flashlight. Oh, yeah, there we go. We can turn it on. You know, your mask gets cracked as you get attacked and take damage and things like that. If it gets covered in, I don't know, slime or something, you can wipe it away like this. You're gonna change your filters all the time, constantly paying attention to how much time you have left. And look at, look at the breath that keeps appearing on the mask at the very bottom of the screen. Fogging it up. That is so cool. I remember taking these little push carts in the other Metro games. I remember going into that tunnel filled with shadows. I don't remember which Metro game that was, actually. The first or the second? Oh, I haven't played this far, by the way. I stopped before when I reached this little spot, so this is totally unknown to me at this point. Gorgeous. It's so good looking. Press out to light the web with your lighter. Oh, right. You can burn webs. I remember that. <laughs> so cool. Does that actually work in real life? 
if you actually took a lighter to a spider web, would it actually just go up in flames, like in a flash? Now I'm curious. What the hell? What the hell was on me? Holy shit, what was that? Was that a spider? I think it was a spider from one of the webs. <laughs> if anybody out there is arachnophobic, I'm so sorry. What was that? Oh! Broken shotgun. How am I looking on ammo? Ten shots. Oh, look at those ice crystals on the wall. Oh yeah, there's spiders hanging down. That definitely was a spider that was on me before. I'm just gonna leave my lighter out. I think they're on the roof. What did I hear faint laughing? Like, maniacal laughing. <laughs> Gunshots. Poor little rat. Oh, hang on. I think I think there's actually an option somewhere to get translations for signs, which would be really nice. Is that accessibility? No, probably game options. Sign subtitles. Just, does it pop up when you're near, or like when you look at it? Ah, oh, when you look at it, that's really cool. Abandoned station. Well, that just has English, biohazard. Nothing for that one. Okay, I guess it's not every sign. But it's something. I remember those things well. Six shots. New note. Half-torn notebook. August 11th. We've arrived. So far, so good. Just a couple of rats. 
The guys are unloading the trolley. August 12th. Not enough people to cover the old roadblocks. Kolya went to get some more volunteers, but for now we'll just cover the platform and the airlock. It looks like... Mikhail... M Mikhailich, hope I'm pronouncing that right, isn't going to finish the repairs anytime soon. The mechanism is rusted solid. August 13th. Shot a couple of watchmen. The beasts got inside, unnoticed under the steps. Cunning fuckers. The airlock drive is dead. Mikhailich says he can't promise anything. We're running short on filters. Time to improvise. I guess we'll just weld the gate shut with a sheet of steel and think later. August 14th. There's a stampede of watchmen up there. They haven't attacked yet, but still. Kolya brought the welding apparatus, but we can't even start the work. As soon as we make a slightest noise, they start howling up there. For now, we decided on setting up some traps. Eleven shots? Is that eleven loaded, seven in reserve? Oh, those all <laughs> can move and break and stuff. All those bottles. Damn, I can't break them. Oh, that's such a cool detail. They're heating up a, a kettle of tea or something on top of a motor. Because they gave off so much heat. I feel like my flashlight is getting awfully dim. How do I charge it? I'm sure it'll tell me at some point. Oh, God. Hmm? Can I use that? That seems important. Not. Maybe it's out of ammo or something. Ooh, it sounds like there's a lot of them. Where to now? Left across the square! 
Hey, Damir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself nah. with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. Uh, yeah, How right. else can he hope and to survive in the match? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. I forgot who the Spartans were, because they mentioned giving me Spartan blood, but I just looked it up. They're the Spartan Rangers, so that's the Rangers that we've heard so much about in the Metro series. Basically, like, elite people that go outside? You know, the best of the best when it comes to fighting and surviving on the, the surface and fighting against the creatures that live in this post-apocalyptic world. Also, I think I totally purged Anna from my memory. I'm just It's just starting to come back to me. We got together with them near the end of Metro Last Light. I remember really, really not liking that and just rolling my eyes. Uh, yeah, we're married. Our team's married. I think. Or at least together. Someone. Well, sadly, it's their job. Well, job or no job, if they keep doing that. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah, well. It's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. 
Thanks. I think about halfway through the conversation, I realized that this engine isn't powering this wheel. The wheel is powering the engine with a couple of rats. Oh my god. And why not? It's what's kept us alive until now. Look at those little babies go. Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are Look at that the tiny station? engine, it's so you know, small. Who will be left here in ten years? Is that like a ten years? Looks like an air compressor, we'll I think. If we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture thread. Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters taking on. I'm not even paying attention to what they're saying. I'm just like we'll looking we'll around at how beautiful everything is. Because this game is so freaking good looking. And the Nazis try something. That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. The stores are running out. There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep getting longer, stronger, <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't worry. I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> the clean place. That'd be an amazing find. So, so yeah, our team's searching for an oasis or life or something. They want more than just living underground in the dark. Stop putting delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. Seems like a lot of people really aren't happy with Artyom. What are you proposing? I, I say we all just off ourselves here quietly. <laughs> I have no idea, really. I don't think anyone does. But hey, at least they're trying. Yes. Right. If not them, then who? You must come back to the forest. I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for our young. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right. You gave us a scare, brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I see you're all right. Gentlemen, give this way. calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you'll be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, you are the nurse of the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. <sighs> Welcome right. back, Artyom. Ah-ha! Uh, Artyom! All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. God, those people are so bro-y. One week later. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes. And there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Tita swap filter. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went out with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a house off limit zone. From nineteen ninety one. Oh look at the like bare circuit board on the top of my weapon. It's really cool. I love how the weapons always look cobbled together. Uh, so each new filter looks like it gives us about three minutes. Have you been to all the drawings? <laughs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. 
If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here but monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Right, something as simple as that. Just having a shower, having our own Your turn now. room, house. That's luxury. Look at how big that is. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Oh, the acoustics in here are amazing. Turn the light off. Did you hear that? Shura's note. Vegetable oil, one liter, clava from the main office, my ring, sugar. Mm, is that like a list of what they're going to trade? Like vegetable oil trading for my ring, sugar trading for silverware? Not sure. Seems like it. the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into a monopoly? Or do we let them pass? Break it down. We'll stop that. They didn't notice us. That was a large pack. So something I'm wondering is, it says T to swap filter when you get to the last minute of your filter, but wouldn't you want to use up your filter as much as possible and wait till there's basically zero seconds left on it? Because I don't think the time would add up, right? Like if you have a minute left and then you put a new one in and it lasts three minutes and you get four minutes in total, that wouldn't make any sense. And I don't think it does that. Um, well, last time I replaced it, I had exactly three minutes left after I did that. So this time I'm going to wait till there's zero seconds left, and we'll see what happens. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that.
Commonwealth would take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. <laughs> That's so cool. Got a bunch of snow on the mask. Wiping it off. Like a couple seconds left on our filter. Now that's what I call a blizzard. Zero seconds, I think. Or here. Let's switch to radios. Whoops, didn't mean to shoot. Uh a minute fifteen. So maybe maybe it does actually um not waste any time to put a new one on when you already have some time left. It was a trap. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Well, we're pretty fucked. Out in the middle of nowhere in a pool of where they dump all their bodies, it looks like. Anna wasn't one of the ones shot and dropped down, right? Are they still up there? Where? Were they carried off? They're probably carried off.
Okay. We have some stuff. I have no weapon. Uh, how am I doing on time for my filter? I can punch? That's about it. Where are those cute little bat things? I'm sure they're not friendly, but... This place is occupied, isn't it? I think there's people nearby. I mean, there's a light. Looks like there's some windmills around here. I would assume it's more, what was it, henna people? Oh, hey! right down here. I'm assuming they're hostile. I'm assuming this... I'm assuming this whole section is to introduce me to, uh... dealing with pe Attention. people as enemies and not the just monsters. Beautiful thing. So, since these people are obviously hostile, are we gonna? I know. I know we end up riding this train. Are we gonna steal it? Chief for interrogation. 
I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Do I go now? Turn the lights off. See that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Stay close to the wall. Yermak, is that you? Thank you, tutorial. What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. I love it when a person is a tutorial. <laughs> that person was absolutely a tutorial. This game is so good looking. Thanks, your mark. on the radio? The people have been jamming it? Do you hear that, Ochan? You were right all along. 
Do you see? It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world. Oh my god. What for? Because the war is still going on. And you behave like fucking kids. Okay, one second before we continue. <laughs> uh, I'm outgoing, top secret to Lieutenant Colonel uh, Ryleaf, head of supply department. In reply to your request from the state, uh, I can report that the number of personnel at the external perimeters radio jamming station is as of January. No, wait, that would be. I gotta remember different date formats, because America has a terrible date format of month, day, year. This would be probably day, month. Yeah, so February 1st. The 1st of February, uh, 4,786 people, 3,857 of which, of which number are special guard detail personnel to be supplied with extra means of individual protection. 723 are maintenance workers, and 206 are command personnel. Deputy Head of Special Department, Major Stroin. That's a lot of people. 4,786. Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. How convenient. We must get out before they recover. Silence pistol. And knives. Guards. I think I can probably throw them, right? Used to be able to. You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All on operate Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar and then go to the... I'll get you out of here. Oh, the train engineer, so they're probably gonna help us steal it. They can run the Why thing. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope... Uh, be careful. Hey. Hey. Artyom, I see the enemy. Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Good point. I want to see what the indicator looks like when I am lit up, so let me go turn the Artyom, flashlight on. Incoming. Two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Okay, I see a little blue light. A little... Did I just pick up- that was a filter, right? I just picked up the toilet filter. Ew. Move. Jesus. I can't believe I didn't get seen. So I got like 30 seconds left. Let's replace it and see how much I have. Three. I can't, can't quite read that. Three minutes? Two minutes? Hmm, I just looked over at my OBS preview window, which is what I'm using to record this game, and I noticed that it looked really juttery when I was moving. Like, the movement was not smooth. It was like ping-bonging back and forth, and looking all weird. Has it been like that the entire game? I did a test recording when I first played for a couple minutes, and it seemed okay at the beginning. If it has been messed up for, like, this whole episode, I'm so sorry. 
I just switched it to a different type of recording. Instead of game capture, I'm doing display capture, and that seems to have fixed it. Looks okay on the preview window. So, just gonna go with that. Uses up a lot more CPU, but I think I'll be fine. Oh, right, I have uh, garbage to throw to distract him, right? Uh, so E's non-lethal, right? Q's lethal. Is there, like, body dragging? Is that a thing? Uh, E to switch weapons, R to... Oh, shit. Well... Oh, I have no ammo. That's why I suggested to do a melee attack. I think I just grabbed some ammo. Ammo, 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 hopefully. Ten shots. Great. What was that? Oh, that would have been good for stealth. Not that it matters anymore. Pretty accurate. I wonder how easy it is to lose him. Can I lose him at all? One down. Oof. Uh, I gotta fix the gas mask. Oh, I see. Oh, that's so cool. There was a hole in it. Um, Q. Q to heal. I couldn't remember what to do to heal. Ah, oh, right. I got this thing. Did I kill them? I might have. So you hold down R to get extra ammo from them. I see. Shots, not bad. Can replace my weapon. Is there any reason to? Is this any different? That is different, actually, isn't it? I think this one is better. Seems to have more. Ah, I'm not sure. Whatever. Attention! The command center came under enemy attack. Changing position, Artyom. All unauthorized forces are to be fired upon immediately. The civilian personnel notice is prohibited until further notice. Attention! The jamming system is back online! I think I'm okay? I think that's it? Okay. Ooh, let's gather some supplies. So E gets just some quick stuff, I guess, and then R if you want to... Oh, I guess E's looking through the pack of the person. And then R is when you're, like, looking at the weapon specifically. It's to unload the weapon, I think. Is what that is. It takes a little bit more time. Yeah, so we just wanted to get their stuff super quick, kind of while you're running. Running and gunning, just press E, grab their pack. But if you want to spend a little bit more time to get more resources, hold down R. I desperately need. 
I gotta remember the more time I spend out here, the more my filters are gonna disappear. I don't have to super rush, but definitely don't want to dawdle for no reason. Can I? Oh, I can go up here. Oh, this would have been a nice place to go for stealth, right? I imagine I could walk along the little walkway up here. Ooh, throwing knives. Hold C to choose one. Ah, I see. That's how you switch between things. So press C to use the thing, hold down C to switch between them. <laughs> God, this game's beautiful. There's really no reason to be up here anymore, I think. Well, there's probably more loot in this tower, too. Oh, heck yeah. Ooh, nice. You can sprint down them, which is that... I'll be better at stealth next time. Oh, you can't get up in this one. Great job, Artyom. We're inside. You can take the mask off, Artyom. Now we have to find Yarmak. So how does this thing compare to what I have? Oh, yeah, I think this is better, actually. It's got a thingy on it. Is this one just iron sights? It is. This is iron sights, and this is the same weapon plus, uh, like a red dot thing. Memo to all personnel of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Project Special Guard detail. In recent years, there's been a noticeable increase in the number of attempts to breach our defenses by spies and enemy agents belonging to previously uncommon demographics. Women, old people, teenagers. This serves to prove the utmost efficiency of the special detail's defense effort, leaving the enemies no chance of ever achieving their goals of mapping our defense perimeter and carrying out sabotage by employing standard tactics. For that reason, all members of Special Guard TDL personnel must carry out their duties responsibly and never falter in applying the special measure measures to any and all enemy agents detained. Remember, the enemy is resourceful and deceitful. The enemy is desperate enough as to throw the last reserves into battle. Still, the enemy resources are still vast and a cornered rat is only more dangerous. Defense Council. I love all the different types of light sources. Not entirely sure what that is. Maybe like a butane? Or something? Some sort of butane gas? Light thing? And then there's like barrels on fire, and then this is a still, I think? Then there's traditional lanterns. <laughs> Just as powerful as ever, those things are. Now, does somebody see me? Sounds like it. Maybe that person. Shit. Did anybody hear that cry? 
It seems like the, the uh, throwing daggers don't go down as much as they did before. They used to fall pretty quickly, I think, and you'd have to aim pretty well, but those didn't seem to. I don't know how they spotted me. They noticed you covering. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Well, maybe I can. Be better itself this time then. I really don't know how I got caught. Taking on light sources, um maybe somebody did hear the scream and just took a while to react to it. We have to get closer. If you get closer, I'll distract them. Behind the gate. There's nobody out there, that's for sure. It's the outside gate, so it could only be watchmen. What could be near that gate? Oh, I thought they were going to die for a second. Oh shit, I saw my- They saw me because I had my flashlight on that time. Whoops. I think we're okay, though. Man, I can't see crap. It's so dark. You gonna leave? Or are they just gonna pace back and forth? Did we ever have a chance to relax like this before? I don't think so. Yeah, they're not leaving. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the Tim. turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. Okay, no stealth. Wait, how did I end up with this weapon? Or is this what I always had? I think this is the same. I prefer one with a somewhat of a scope. Destructive glass. That is gorgeous. Let go, I can't. 
intense. Are you okay? Hey, there's a manual drive on the platform. It's hard to Adi Let's do this together. Just a little. Yes. Run. Kill them. Oh shit. At least it's just a flashbang, so we're not dead. Roger that, base. Over. Alright, shoot these two. And as for the engineer... What do you mean, shoot these two? Don't you dare give me the limb soldier. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Dad! Guys! It's us! What the hell? Right, what are you doing here? Let's talk about Sir Christ. Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't believe it. Shit! So this is true? You're working for them? The bastards shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line no, down. Shit, the watchers won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, what is in the ravine, about, there are sir, people from other cities, dead. All Everyone of them, women, up. children. I'll tell you all later. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess. And I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to... It's not my this call, and you're not. ...misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. It's it's not not us. Us. Ooh. 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 All right, Spartans. Throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye!
That was just a warning. If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill. Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you are hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said anything. Stop the engine immediately! Oh fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, uh, you're stuck. Uh, but I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Get back, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah, yes, finally I... some good sense. Now, keep braking, you are stop. Well, the grenades will barely scratch their pain, so. How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in that firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Thanks, Dad. Why Artyom? Because he's started to fall, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract you in the meantime. Plastic is that you, Jacob? Yeah, so cut the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just out of town for a bit till the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No, I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you cutting, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years. We have spilled our blood for the cause. You sold out! They I'm not gonna knock this one you. out. I have been a soldier my whole no. life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! Uh, whew, that was a long pause. Ooh, cloth physics. such a good set piece. The world is going by in a blur outside. It's so cool. Oh, well. That was interesting. I think my bullet just went, like, right through them. Yeah, let's just skip them this time. There's really no reason to go after them. Don't 
shoot! Don't shoot! I'm just a stalker. I'm not with him. They made me. Just no, don't shoot! Take the bomb as close to the boiler as you can. Not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I. I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Yeah, they better be. Why the long face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. Hmm, so... They were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation to avoid new nuclear attacks against us. Command chose the only viable course of action, to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom that took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. 
Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? Uh... There's a yeah. whole world out here! A world where we could live! So far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? We don't know. How will they treat us? I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? Again, I don't know. Keep looking, Arthur. It's got to be a signal. Wait a moment, what was that? Speaking from the Earth Project base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone still loyal to the cause. Listen, everyone. to the rally point. Rally point location is code 5. Only by standing together. Like this. This is our goal. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for. Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir, that thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. You think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Just a moment. I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go or Anna and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. It sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Uh, Full steam ahead. Wow, that that's sure. some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Either resume the journey or continue exploring the train. Let's continue exploring the train. But before that, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. The prologue is pretty long, but it's good. I, I can see what they're setting us up for. The whole open world traveling in the train, stopping at places, looking for life and other people and resources and whatnot, that kind of thing. And I'm excited, because it looks like we're just about to start being a bit more free. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.